श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम अहम अंशे न यशून्यम चिन्मात्रा लोकमद मुक्तिबीज तदाख्यात पर योग प्रवर्तक चैतन्य प्योर कॉन्शियसनेस एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ द चैतन्य एज चेतना और लाइफ expression of that life as mind expression of that mind is asmita expression of this asmita is the sense organs organs of action and expression of the sense organs is the world this is the way is called as the avataran so now where are we <coughs> we are in the objective world so we have come to the periphery of our personality our thoughts are buried under the objective pursuit so what will be the spiritual practice go back and in the process of <coughs> going back we have to come to aham amshe na yat shunyam where these aham amsha asmita tatva is fully dissolved see asmita tatva is a tatva it is a principle it is the abhivyakti but this abhivyakti is mistaken by us as vyakti individuality this is the most simplest way to recognize the truth for example vision now it doesn't matter who is vision whether man woman young old the principle of vision is common expression of mind through the structural eye is vision but what happens we get buried under the individuality vyakti see and therefore asmita tatva aham amsha from here the i the individuality begins now this asmita tatva individuality begins from where from the life so life has two expressions one expression is where the asmita tatva the i notion is very distinct and strong and the second is there is absence of i notion these are the two expressions now the expression of i notion as strong is our waking and dream experiences not absence presence the presence of i notion is strong in the waking and dream experience and the absence of the i notion is deep sleep and samadhi in deep sleep there is no i notion 
सो वेकिंग इज हंड्रेड परसेंट आय ड्रीम इज फिफ्टी परसेंट आय डीप स्लीप इज नो आय वॉट शुड बी द साधना सो जाओ स्लीप सो अहम अंशे न यत शून्यम न वेन द वाइज पीपल दे आर लिविंग अहम अंशे न यत शून्यम चिन्मात्र आलोक मद्वयम देन वी कम टू चिन्मात्र आलोक द लाइट ऑफ ओनली प्योर कॉन्शियसनेस सो लाइट ऑफ द कॉन्शियसनेस इज चेतना और लाइफ सो सच ग्रेट मास्टर्स start living with oneness with the totality if you read the stories of many great mahatmas that they are taking food and while they are taking food a dog comes and takes food from their own plate a bird comes and takes food they don't get disturbed because they have reason about the asmita tatva they are living at the life level See friends, these stories which come in so many books. Like for example, Shirdi Sai Baba. One day, one lady came and she did namaskar, and uh, he said to her, "Amma, today you have given me food. Thank you so much." She said, "I never gave you food today." How do you say? No, when you are taking food, there was one dog came next to you. He was looking at you. You have just taken a piece of bread and given it to him. Not only that, thereafter a piglet came, dirty. That also was looking at you. To him also you have given a piece of bread. Then he says, the principle of hunger is common. Our condition is, I am hungry. I want food. You go to hell. No. This is absence of asmita tatva, which is not overpowering us. This is what is mentioned here. Aham amshe na shunyam, chinmatra alokam advayam. So this chinmatra aloka, e the principle of life is advayam. It is not separate. See. the joy of indra in the heavens and the joy of a donkey on the road side is the same no difference see friends advayam this is mukti bijam this is the mukti bija this is the seed where from we can transcend and go beyond जड चेतन चेतन इज लाइफ जड इज मैटर इन द वेदांतिक सिद्धांत द्रह्मन द रियालिटी द ट्रूथ इज अभिन्न निमित्त उपादान कारण अभिन्न अनडिवाइडेड निमित्त सेंशियंट upadan inert so that which is undivided and has both the potentiality of matter as well as the sentiency that is the ultimate truth this is what is mentioned here para yoga pravartakam see friends so mukti bijam tada khyatam that is called as the seed of liberation <coughs> you know where to go i have to go to hell or heaven no need para yoga pravartaka up to here we have seen yesterday but yesterday you didn't tell this you told something different don't cry never mind now here after <coughs> having brought us to the absolute non dual now the teacher says chakrani nadaya padma देवता बीज मंडल रूप मिथ्यादिकम किंचित देयम नैव कदाचन दिस शुड नॉट बी प्रैक्टिस
बाय हुम दोज हू आर पर योग दोज हू वॉन्ट टू मर्ज इन द एब्सल्यूट दिस शुड नॉट बी प्रैक्टिस विच आर दोज थिंग्स चक्र दी मूलाधार स्वादिष्ठान मणिपुर अनाहत विशुद्ध आज्ञा आदि चक्राणी डोंट वेस्ट योर टाइम इन दिस चक्कर के चक्कर में मत फसो भाई कुंडली नीज अवेकंड बट नाउ व्हाट नेक्स्ट आई डोंट नो कैन यू प्लीज गाइड मी नो You are still lingering in the objective pursuit. Chakrani, na evo kada chana deyam. Don't get lost in that. To get out of it, the <coughs> kundalini, if we understand properly, it will happen. We go beyond that. Muladhar chakra is body identification. स्वादिष्ठान चक्र इज लीडिंग द लाइफ फॉर फुलफिलिंग द डिजायर्स कामना इज इन द स्वादिष्ठान चक्र मणिपुर चक्र इज ग्रीड लोभ हैज नो एंड टिल सच टाइम वी आर लिविंग इन द लोअर थ्री चक्राज वी आर ऑब्जेक्टिव इन परसूट देन वी कम टू अनाहत चक्र Anahan Chakra. We start working on the mind, and what is working on the mind? What we have been studying. See, mind is not something tangible, something real. No, it is only expression, like the light. Light is not real. Electricity is real. But because of the light, everything is seen in the same manner. Because of the principle of mind. the duality is seen in deep sleep where is the duality see manasam to kim margane krute naiva manasam when you thus enquire about this mind 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 we come to know there is nothing like mind and this mind is making us miserable therefore when we transcend the mind then we come to the thought free aham That is called Atma Khyati. Thought free Aham is Vishuddha Chakra. See, and this thought free Aham is not that I am divine. What about others? Others are devil. No. Then this migration from the Vishuddha Chakra to the Sahasra to the Agnya Chakra is Aham Brahmasmi. This is the journey. through knowledge we are nothing is done only correct understanding happens this is what is mentioned here chakrani dheyam naiva kadachana don't get lost in evoking this chakra when this chakra is awakened this thing happens see if you happen to go to varanasi sometime there was one great mahatma there his ashram is also there he was a aghori sant and his name is uh, kinaram baba kinaram baba i go there whenever i go there and all the um, what do you call tantra shastra things are there and so many people see and he had all the siddhis then where we go where our desires are fulfilled nobody goes to temple for the sake of god we go to the temple with a clear understanding oh god other than you i want the following things therefore all over god sir smiling aage fir mangne see friends therefore chakrani dheyam naiva kadachana don't get lost in this various kind of chakra you know why this happens because wrong understanding of the word bhed they call it muladhar chakra bhed manipur this swadishtan chakra bhed bhed means piercing 
and opening. One meaning. Bheda also means the secret. Aapke saundarya ka kya bheda hai? Oh, life by Sabir mein roz subo uđ ke khati hu. Bheda is the secret. So what is the secret? Secret is the Muladhar Chakra is body identification. That is the secret. If there is body identification, then only Swadhisthan the desire. And when there is desire, then we get caught up in the Manipur, greed. Until such time, we are caught up in these three. Trividham Naraka Sedham Dwaram Nashanam Atmana Kama Krodhur Tatha Lobaha Tasma Rita Trayam Tejet. So this is the path of inquiry, understanding. You don't have to do anything. See? So Chakrani, then Nadeha, then there are so many Nadis. Sushumna, Pingala, uh, Alambusha, Gandhari, Ida, Ityadi, Dvatrinshan Nadeyascha. So various kinds of nadis, then you um, see pranapana samayukta, both the pranapana it becomes sama, it becomes perfectly balanced. So ida and pingala, ida is the jnana and pingala is the karma. When they become perfectly um, <coughs> balanced, then it is called as a sushumna nadi. And the sushumna nadi is taking us to the sahasrar and we get liberated. <coughs> Don't get lost in that. There is no liberation because there is no bondage. So we are coming here for what? Life is a time pass. Otherwise, all the time, the same thing. Not Deha Den. Padma Devata Bija Mandalam. So, Padma Devata Bija Mandalam. Padmani. Now, these are the various kind of um, lotus. Padma means lotus. <coughs> so, Muladhar Chakra is the four petals. Then, Swadhisthan Chakra is six petals. And then, the... Um, Manipur chakra is 16 petals and then the Anaha chakra is 12 petals. Therefore, Katopanishad. Uh, Angushta Matra Purushaha Madhi Atmani Tishtati Ishano Bhuta Bhavyasa Natato Vijugupsate. These 12 Katha start from Ka, 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 Ga, Ga, Cha, Cha, Ja, Ja, Ta, Ta, 12. So, on these 12 uh, mantras, the varanas, you have to do the dharana and then this opens. See, this is the meaning of the various kind of chakra. So, Padma, Devata, Bija, Mandalam, Chatushyashta, Dvadasha, Shodasha, Dvalani, Itkamalani, Cha. Then Devata, various gods get lost in them. What is that? Brahma, Vishnu, Rudra, Ishvara, Sadashiva, Paramatma, Adi Devata, Asha, Na Eva Dheyam. Don't be objective in your pursuit. How to remain non-objective or how to remain subjective in the pursuit? When? An experiencer is not born, but the experience is. You cannot understand this. In Kelo Panisha, this is the problem with the student. The teacher <coughs> tried to help him get out of this experiencer. And therefore he says, Anya Devatat Viditat Atha Aviditat Adi. 
it is other than the known and unknown. See? So the student says, yes, I have understood clearly. And the teacher gives him a bang. Yadi manne se suve deti dahara meva api nunam tam vetha brahman o rupam yadasya tam atano devesho mimam samevate. If you think that you understood, you have gone totally wrong because it is a knowledge where knower is not born. It is an experience where experience is not created. How important it is. Otherwise, I had division of Brahmaji. But one problem, he had only one head. What happened about his three heads, you know? I was just thinking about it. No. This is a thought-free experience. Thought-free experience means Vritti Rahit Aham. The aham that we know is vritti yukta aham. See? Therefore, devata, brahma, vishnu, rudra, ishvara, sadashiva, paramatma, adi, devatasya, dheyam, naiva, kadachana. Don't remain objective in your pursuit. See? Now, how can we do that? As we do, when we stand in front of the mirror. In mirror, we don't look at the mirror. We look in the mirror. And when we look in the mirror, we don't look at the reflection. We look at ourselves. So although it appears it is objective, but it is essentially subjective. And therefore, if the reflection is not clear, if the reflection is not proper, because the reflection is moving in the water, we don't move. If I remove it, it is moving there. No. See, friends. Therefore, uh, <coughs> Devata Bijani, then what are the Bijani? Bijani is not any Sindhi. Bijan is Nakara, Makara, Shikara, Vakara, Yakara, Rankara, Pranamadi, Bijani. These are the Bija mantras. Vam, Yam, Ram, Lam. You must have seen Om, Rim, Rum, Ram, Phat. These are all the Bija mantras. Therefore, those who are giving the mantra diksha, in that mantra diksha, they add the Bija mantra. See? Om, Rim, Krim, and then the mantra. So these are the Bija mantras. So Bijani, all the Nakara, etc. And Mandalam, then they have the Mandala, Soma, Surya Soma, Agna, Agni Nam, Mandala Trayamcha. In that Mandala, they will be sitting around the fire. That is the Agni Mandal, <coughs> Soma Mandal with the moon, and the Surya Mandal is with the sun. And then they will be doing their sadhana. Mandalam cha. Then Rupam Ityadikam and the Rupa is Rakta, Vidyuta, Ratna, Hema, Agni, Manikya, Varanatmakam. So all these various kinds of, various kinds of imagination start happening. When I sat, there was a bright light which came. Then what happened? It went away. Now it's not coming. See? Ityadi eva madi adi shabdena odyanadi bandik bandha odyanadi bandhanani. So, various kinds of bandha, mula bandha, udda and bandha, all these bandha bandha don't get lost in that. These are all the hatha yoga prakriyas. Then, uh, bandhanani, shanmukhadi karanani. Cha bheri mrudanga adi ane, uh, aneka nadani cha grahiyani na. Similarly, many people when they do this kind of sadhana, they get lost in various kinds of sounds that they hear. See, 
बिंदु नाद कलातीतम तस्मय श्री गुरवे नम वन हैज टू ड्रॉप ऑल ऑब्जेक्टिविटी एंड टू ड्रॉप द ऑब्जेक्टिविटी लेट ए सब्जेक्ट बी नॉट बॉर्न मीनिंग एक्सपीरियंस इज हैपनिंग but there is neither understanding nor not understanding being is knowing but instead of being when we become becoming is knowing if i can use the word a knower is born because I have become. I am a Vedanti. Oh ho! Oh. So I is there, but I am no special status. In this manner, kinchit kada chana dhyam na bhavanti. Do not get lost in all these objective things. Relax, relax, relax. देन कुहक मंत्र जालम च प्राणायामादिधारण सर्वेत कर्तव्य मोक्ष अक्षय इच्छता दोज हू रियली वॉन्ट टू मर्ज इन द एब्सल्यूट दे शुड नॉट सर्वेत न कर्तव्य दि शुड नॉट बी प्रैक्टिस विचार दोज कुहक कुहक ए द दिस ब्लैक मैजिक मारण स्तंभन मोहन आकर्षण उच्चाटन वशीकरण आदि अनेकम कुहकम दीज आर द ब्लैक मैजिक डू नॉट गेट लॉस्ट इन दैट नॉट ओनली इट इज ब्लैक मैजिक बट ऑल्सो ब्लेसिंग एनीबडी Always sitting like this. Who to? Why bless? What to bless? To whom to bless? When our tongue goes between the teeth and remove the food particles, will the teeth bless the tongue? Thank you very much. May God make you long. <laughs> so the tongue comes out. No. See. So. देन मंत्र जालम देन मंत्र जालम च समूह समूह हम चो मेनी मंत्रास विचार दोस मंत्रास दे लाइक वी टेक ए पर्टिकुलर मंत्र एंड थिंक दैट इज ऑल नो द हाइएस्ट मंत्र आई टोल्ड यू डू नॉट टॉक टू युअर सेल्फ एंड लिसन टू साइलेंस this i am telling you from the shiva sutra in shiva sutra mantra is chaitanya vaikhari madhyama upamshu japa pashanti para these are the expressions of chaitanya and we go beyond the jada chetana what is the jada chetana that which has a beginning and end is jada chetana is that which is against the jada we go beyond that so neither sounds nor absence of sounds but we go beyond the presence and absence of sounds so when we are not talking to ourselves we are not producing sounds 
when we are listening to silence we are not influenced by sounds this is bindu nad kalatita mantra jalam or else you get lost in that but then the people say you should do the mantra it is said no doubt about it the small kids when they are uh, not able to understand anything so they are taught now this is one chocolate okay he is interested in chocolate this is second chocolate how many two chocolates no. this third three chocolates so the teacher thinks he is teaching one two three but the child's attention is on the chocolate how many more see that is necessary but after having gone to college then three and two chocolate ka hai no that's all necessary but all the time getting buried in that only and the gods get confused kisko bula raha hai tum bula rahe ho no see mauna vyakhya prakatita para brahma tatvam yuvanam what is the mauna mauna is going beyond words and absence of words मंत्र जालम देन प्राणायाम आदि धारणम देन वेरियस काइंड्स ऑफ प्राणायाम भस्त्रिका कपाल भाती एक्चुअली भस्त्रिका कपाल भाती दे आर नॉट प्राणायाम दे आर द क्रिया मेनी पीपल मिस्टेक इट एज ए प्राणायाम दे आर क्रिया अनुलोम विलोम इज प्राणायाम ठोक दो सो मंत्र जालम प्राणायाम आदि देन धारणम देन धारणा इज डन सो यू फोकस युअर अटेन्शन ऑन एनिथिंग ऑब्जेक्ट लाइक दे डू इन योग शास्त्र दी त्राटक देल बी कीपिंग कैंडल द फ्लेम इज देयर एंड देल बी लुकिंग एट इन नो विंकिंग ऑफ द आईज no don't do that be very attentive do not try to concentrate and remember concentration and memory is always about others on the spiritual path concentration is an obstacle see this example you are listening to me with concentration therefore i told you example so you are listening to me with concentration but are you concentrating yourself or you are aware of yourself in concentration there is tiredness but in awareness relax prayatna shaitilya ananta samapatti vyam in awareness there are no efforts and therefore those who are concentrating like meditation in progress keep silence don't disturb and if some disturbance happens they get angry because they are obsessed with silence the truth is beyond the sound and the silence dukkheshu anudvigna manaha 
Sukeshu Vigatas Pruhaha. Then only the wisdom is steady. See. So Pranayama Adi Dharanam <coughs> and thereafter Pratyahara Dhyanecha. So all the Ashta Anga, Ashtanga. Now don't get lost in that. Now you are grown up. In old days, don't start acrobatics. Go for a walk comfortably and come back. Don't wait and waste your time. I want to reduce my weight. Don't do that. One should be fat when one is old. Do you know why? When a fat man is put on the pyre, he burns fast. Because built-in fuel and those bony fellows, you have to add a fuel from outside. Haddi jaldi niya. So far, reducing the pollution in the world. Oh, life goes only in then. I want to maintain it. Kya karo ki So, dharanam sarva etam na kartavyam. So, don't get lost in these things. This is what happens with many of us. For us, the spiritual practice is this one. Na kartavyam. Moksham akshay michata. If you really want moksha, yesterday also I told you, Mo is moha, Kshya is kshaya. All the problems are because of this moha. <coughs> See? Take our Bhagavad Gita. What is the problem that is sorted out in Bhagavad Gita? Jnana, yoga, bhakti, nothing. Arjuna did nothing of that. And we unnecessarily get worried. See? Do you think Bhagavan was telling you, sit down. Uh, the war is going on. Excuse me, meditation. <laughs> Nothing he practiced. We unnecessarily get worried. Our um, Bala Ganga Dartila, Bhagavad Gita told Karma Yoga. See? Then Madhvacharya Ji, Bhagavad Gita told the Dvaita. Bhagavan Shankaracharya. No, Advaita. Are yaar kuch bhi nahi. Only one thing. Nashto mohaha, smriti labdha, tat prasad atmaya achyuta. Arjun doesn't say, I got knowledge. And what is his problem? That also he specifically tells in the second chapter. Karpande dosho patasvabhavaha, pruchami tvam dharma sammudha cheta. So my mind is confused. This is what I am. So what Bhagavan did is only removed the confusion. And confusion about what? Our identity crisis. As to who we are at a given period of time. That's all we have to see. Therefore our Mahamantra, wherever you are, whenever you are, whatever you are, be 100%, you are practicing Bhagavad Gita. See, Maharaj, moksha akshayam ichchata. There are two types of moksha from this word. Moksha akshayam, akshaya moksha. Second is kshaya moksha. Kshaya moksha is what? Um, one lady asked me this question. Swamiji, when we listen to your talk in satsang, everything is so simple and clear. But the moment we go out, put on shoes, everything is lost. What to do? I said, don't put on your shoes. Put on somebody else's shoes. That is why one of the spiritual practices is this. Go to satsang with old, dilapidated shoes. <clears throat> and when you go out, those who come for the first time, they come with the new shoes. Change it and go. That day had happened with somebody. <clears throat> See, I said, they are real satsang. Sarva etam na kartavyam moksha akshayam ichchata. Akshaya. There is no realization twice. 
that which is repeated falls in the purview of matter. That which is repeated is finite. Infinite cannot be repeated. You can repeat the mantra, Om Nusha, Om Nusha, Om Nusha, Om Nusha, Om Nusha, Om Nusha. This is Om Namah Shivaya. I am telling you the latest version. Om Nusha, Om Nusha, Om Nusha, Om Nusha. Om Nusha. As if they are fighting with somebody. Om Nusha, Om Nusha, Om Nusha. <coughs> How can you be miserable in this world? Such great jokes are happening all around. See? And I get a joy out of it. There are different brands. One brand comes, Swamiji, Jai Sri Krishna, Jai Sri Ram, Jai Sri Krishna, Jai Sri Ram. Second one comes, Swamiji, Hari Om, Omnushya, Omnushya. Third comes, Swamiji, uh, Omnushya, Sai Ram, Sai Ram, Hari Ram. Great fun. It's not a brand equity. Remain relaxed. Like what? Like the water. Let it be a petri dish. Water is comfortable. Let it be a taste tube. Water is comfortable. Let it be a capillary tube. Water is comfortable. But the ice you keep anywhere awkward. Because strong personality. The ice slab from the petri dish, I will not go in the test tube. Because very hard personality. And the ice uh, rod from the test tube, I will not go in that small little capillary. I am bigger. Water is at home everywhere. See, friends. Therefore, our scriptures tell, Nam Rupatmakam Jagat. World is nothing but obsession with name and form. Forms are outside, names are inside. Therefore, the world is not outside. The world is both outside and inside. Now, we cannot do anything outside. It is not in our purview. Then what could be done? Do inside. And what is to be done inside? Don't talk to yourself. Listen to silence. When names are no more an issue for us, forms, roop disappeared. If a Chinese girl comes and tells, Ing dong pong dong, I don't understand. <coughs> Swamiji, do you know what she said? No. <coughs> she said, I love you. But will it make any difference to me? Because the world is not born. When I understand the meaning of that, then it is born. Therefore, friends, these externalities are to be rejected and therefore <coughs> na, natra puja namaskaro na japaha dhyanam evacha kevalam neyam ityuktam veditavyam nakinchana. Now see, all your supports are taken away. Na atra puja ganti bajao. Dun, 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 dun. Whenever I uh, see this puja, I enjoy that. It's a very good time pass, you know. You don't have to think. And the Panditjis who do the puja, particularly go to south, they'll be doing the Ashtottara Nam and Bhagavan is catching it. <laughs> they do not offer like Om Vashatkara Yanamaha Om Shambhave Namaha Om Narayana Yanamaha That way, Bhagavan Ko. It is not their fault. 
if there is one name you can chant comfortably, thousand names. <laughs> and if you observe, this is what I do. If you observe, with each name they don't uh, throw the flowers. Do char ram. Nam puja. Unnecessarily don't. I'm not telling you don't do it. Do it, but that is not all. See, these karma kandi people, they get so much obsessed with everything. See? And if something is missing, they get disturbed. Devi puja and only white flowers gone. He becomes red. Because Devi wants only red flowers, not white. I am not Shiva. I am Parvati. I want red flowers. When they have got Raga Dvesha, why we should not have? <laughs> See, friends, Natra Puja, Namaskaraha. See, from the Namaskar we can know. Longer the Namaskar, longer is the demand list. Bhagavan, of course, my mother in law should die quickly. <laughs> And then you get up. Are you father in law? Yeah. <laughs> See, Namaskar is what? In that Namaskar, the Sandra Naneshwar writes beautifully. What is Namaskar? Namaskar is if the ornaments salute the gold, what will be the salutation? Then we must know what is ornament. Ornament is name, form and gold. So if the ornament salutes the gold, what will be the salutation? Name and the form are dissolved. This is the meaning of the mantras. See, Om Namah Shivaya. See, this is a dative case. Shivaya Namaha. I am doing Namaskar is not said. Aham Shivam Namami. Aha. Namas Shivaya. Salutation to Shiva. When we say salutation to Shiva, we disappear. Salutations are offered. Not by me. It is offered. And in that offering, the one who offered disappeared. See? Therefore, Natra Puja Namaskaraha Na Japaha then we get lost in the japa. See friends, <coughs> japa technique is, it is a GPS. We start from where we are. When we fix our GPS, point of origin and destination. Point of origin for the person doing japa is what? This world. This world means shabda. Shabda means Vaikari Vani. So from Vaikari Vani we start. So first by the Vaikari Vani, the Japa. Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. When you do the Japa properly, what happens is, the Vaikari Vani becomes purified and mature and the Japa enters the Madhya Mahavani. Then without any efforts, the Nama Smaran continues. <coughs> but we are still in the mind, we are still in the Prakriti, far away from the reality. And when this is continued, then that Japa migrates to the Pashanti Vani. Up to here is our efforts in the Japa Sadhana. See. After that, he takes over. You relax. See. Therefore, slowly we start withdrawing from the objective pursuit. And then the sounds are dropped and the silence overpowers. And thereafter, both sounds and silence, both of them are dropped. 
and we come back to our divine being. This is the purpose for what Japa is done. See? And you will see all the Japa Puja we do, uh, all the Stotra we read, uh, <coughs> Hanuman Chalisa or any Stotra. You will see the Parashruti. After every Stotra, there is the Parashruti. See, Vidya Arthi Labed, Vidya, Dhana Arthi Labed, Dhavan Putra Arthi Labed, Putram. See? So, it is for that we are doing or what? I don't want anything. See, because all these Upasana, etc., they are meant for fulfilling the desires. So, Natra Puja, Namaskaro, Na Japaha, Na Dhyana Mevacha, never do meditation. Dhyatru Dhyane Parityajya, Deya Meva Vashishyate. See. This experience of yours, is the truth. There is one text, we have studied it here, Tripura Arhasya. If I remember, probably it is in the 18th <coughs> chapter. <coughs> there the teacher, Hema Lekha, tells her husband, disciple, Hema Chud. She initiated him and then he started doing meditation. And one day he was sitting in his bed and doing meditation. She being a wife comes, sit next to him and hugs him, kisses him. And he says, what are you doing? You are getting again lost in this worldly things. You only taught me. And how come you are again falling down? So she laughs again. Then she asks him a question. What do you get when you close your eyes? And what do you lose when you open your eyes? <coughs> Will the space get disturbed? because of the movement of the earth in the space and therefore the space will get good goody. If there are too much of <coughs> hurricanes, the waters are going up in the sky, will the space suffer from um, Pneumonia? No. If there is inferno, fire all around, will the space get the blisters? And if the winds are flowing terrible, will the space be taken away somewhere? Is it not? Because of looking at the pink color, is the are the eyes becoming pink? Black color, are the eyes becoming black? The rule is, Prakashak, illuminator, is not influenced by what is Prakashita, illumined. It's thumb rule. Mind is neither good nor bad, it is the thoughts. Similarly, Jagra Sapna, it belongs to mind, not to me. The dream we accept as an illusion, but the waking we take it as a real. See? And both of them are only the play of the mind. Dream is also a story of mind, waking is also a story of mind. But one story we take real, other we take uh, not real. 
and we think we are intelligent. Therefore, na dhyana me vacha, don't get lost. Therefore, uh, in English, I say always, be attentive. We don't say, become attentive. No. Dhyan do. Dhyan karo nahi. Pyaar kiya jata hai. Ki ho jata hai. See. Meditation is not done. Like waking is not done, we are in awake state and then do the things. We don't do dreaming. We are in the dream and then go through good and bad experiences. We don't do sleeping because in sleep we are not there. Who is sleeping? Inquire. Waker cannot sleep because he is not there. The dreamer cannot sleep. He is not there. Then who sleeps? Nobody. See, friends. So, waking is not done, dreaming is not done, deep sleep is not done. Deep sleep happens. And then the snoring begins. Try to snore when you are awake. You cannot, because you are not in deep sleep. In the same manner, when waking is not done, dreaming is not done, deep sleep is not done, why do you do some meditation? Dhyana. Then we have to live in meditation. And what is living in meditation is, let there be experience, but let the experiencer be not born. Dukkheshu Anudvigna Manaha When the miseries come, don't become miserable. Sukheshu Vigatas Purhaha When comforts are there, don't be enslaved by the comforts. You are living in meditation. See? Kima Sita How one can achieve that? Achieve that? Yukta asita mat paraha. Hold on to the absolute that you are. Therefore, natra puja namaskaro na japo dhyana mevacha then kevalam neyam ityuktam then kevalam neyam. What is neya? See, if we have incomplete knowledge of Sanskrit, we get lost. In Bhagavad Gita, 15th chapter, Bhagavad Sri Krishna says, Mattaha smriti jnanam apohanancha and therefore, Vedaisya sarvai ahameva vedyaha. Vedya means worthy of knowing. Vedya doesn't mean object. Worthy of knowing. Kartavya, worthy of doing. So, Vidya. So, Kevalam Neya. Here, Neya is the same thing. So, Kevalam Neyam Iti Yuktam. So, only that knowledge where the knower known duality has not happened and Veditavyam Na Kinchana, other than this, where the knower known division does not happen is the ultimate destination that is para yoga pravartakam this is the ultimate when this happens then nothing to do nowhere to go na kuch pana na kuch khona nothing to gain nothing to lose but then the people will say, Kya parak padta hai? But I had to do this thing. Who asked you? But this, you know, the people are not come uh, helping me. 
living at zero complaint level. <coughs> now, how to live at zero complaint level? Wherever you are, whenever you are, whatever you are, be that person. Your whole scriptural practice is in the simple words. <coughs> but we being complicated, we don't like simple things. See? So many complications. They are necessary. KG1, KG2, KG3. But throughout life you cannot remain in KG1. Kabito bade ho jao. Grow sometime at least in life. See? But what happens? We grow too much. What is the um, similarity between the young and the too much grown? Both of them, they require walkers. The child requires a walker. Old man requires a Johnny Walker. <laughs> Both of them require walkers. See, friends, rise above this and you have learnt everything on the spiritual path. So, kevalam ne yamityuktam veditavyam na kinchana. There is nothing worthy of knowing anything in this world. See? Do you know who was the seventh president of America? No, I don't know. How does it matter? How simple it is. Do you know what was the number of uh, Mahatma Gandhi's chasma? No, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> How does it matter? It makes no difference. But it does make a difference. Do you know yourself? When the knowing and being merges, that is the Parayoga Pravartakam. That is worthy of knowing. Give it a try and be happy. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Sri Guru Bhyonamaha Harihi Om